assalamu alaikum guys hope you are doing great so today we are going to start our next experiment that is bjt ce amplifier bipolar junction transistor common emitter amplifier and the objectives that we have to cover is that uh, we have to demonstrate the operation and characteristic of a small signal amplifier determine the maximum output available from a basic common emitter amplifier calculate the voltage gain input and output resistance experimentally so if you go through this lab sheet you will find out that a little bit of uh, theoretical background is written for you here and uh, one of the characteristic of common emitter amplifier is that it gives the output 180 degree uh, out of phase with respect to the input uh, this is one of the key characteristic right and uh, a few more details are written here you have covered this in the lecture as well and uh, you can read it here as well just to have a quick review for you so first uh, i would like to tell you about the experimental apparatus that we are going to use it will be a transistor capacitor resistances function generator oscilloscope power supply and multimeter as well why multimeter as well because in the object the first object is operational um, and characteristic of a small signal amplifier so we need to measure the voltages and current at respective terminals and uh, as it is a small signal analysis so obviously we are going to use a function generator as an input source and a oscilloscope as the output source now moving on further what you have to do first you have to build the circuit as shown in figure so this is the figure that you have to build uh, the pin diagram of uh, uh, 3904 transistor is given here in figure number one so first terminal is and uh, you can see this rounded surface is on the top so this is um, collector base and emitter and this is the schematic how it look likes so collector is this one emitter is this one and base is this one so collector here base in the middle and emitter here and uh, how you you will get all these components you are familiar with multisim so in principle what we need one two three four five resistances three capacitors one power source one ac source one ground and after that obviously as i said you need to do the you need to use the multimeter in order to check these parameters vb is the base voltage emitter voltage collector voltage base current emitter current collector current measured values you can get all of them from multimeter theoretical values you can get from uh, using the equations and calculating them simulation values you can get from the multisim right and then it comes the a small signal analysis that is second part so you need to apply a 10 millivolt 100 kilohertz signal and then you need to measure the output right there are certain conditions that are given to you here for example in order to record the output without 3.3k without three without uh, capacitor and without 3.3k uh, without rs and uh, here including both of them including one of them so these are three combinations ce rs and rl for this you need to include ce rl but no rs here no ce no rs but rl here all of them are available ce rs and rl and here only ce no rs no rl while the input remain the same obviously when you change these parameters it will change the output so based on this output 
input will remain the same you can calculate the measured gain theoretical gain you can measure uh, you can calculate by using the equations and simulated gain again you can calculate by um, following the you can uh, you can do it by using uh, uh, you can get it from the multi sim simulation itself and here there are some um, bias point detail simulation how you can get these values directly so you need to go to analyze the circuit by choosing analysis setup bias point run the simulation by choosing simulate from the analysis menu all of these things you have to do it inside the multi sim and you will get these values here obviously vcc you need to provide and rest of the stuff you will get it then again for the uh, small signal analysis you need to follow this procedure and you need to fill uh, table 3.2 which is this one okay so this is about the uh, lab stuff that you have to perform today now let's jump to the multi sim section so these are the objects that are available uh, written here and this is the circuit that i have made already at the moment i didn't connect anything at the input for example this one so c1 and vs is missing the rest everything is here so now um, let's connect some multimeter in order to get some values example this will give you what this will give you the base voltage which is vb this will give you voltage and this will give you emitter voltage now you can double click on it to see the windows that we have and here run it these are the voltages that you have now you can see this is base base and this is emitter voltage so base to emitter junction represents a diode which has a forward bias voltage drop of 0.7 so you can see this is 2.9 and this is 2.2 which make sense while this is vc vc and vc can be calculated by using the equation uh, vcc minus ic rc and uh, how ic can be calculated you need to use the equation of uh, ib times beta beta you need to find out how you uh, what is the value of beta and ib can be measured here uh, now stop this simulation and let's try to find out some currents as you know to measure the currents we need to open these junctions so that we can measure the respective current connected to so that it will give you this current one and two this will be the current connected to pull them to amperes and run now you can see this is in micro amperes which makes sense when it will be multiplied by beta it will become milliamperes which is the current passing through the collector and then this is the amount of current that is passing through the emitter these two values are quite close to each other so that's why we uh, during the analysis most of the time we approximate them as equal ic uh, ic equals to ie 
that is the collector current is equals to the emitter current now I stop this as well and move on to the second step uh, that is applying a small signal AC signal and measure the response so now this is our original circuit that we have developed we need to use another capacitor at the input and the value of this capacitor is 22 microfarad make sure to write a small u for microfarad if you write capital u it will change its value drastically and you will not get any response as expected obviously there will be response but at a different frequency so this is our function generator as you know to apply any input signal and this is our input as well in order to compare with the output and this is our output that is across 3.3k uh, resistance so we can change the color of the output in order to differentiate in between input and output and uh, we can set all these values according to what is given in the lab sheet so that it matches what is expected so 10 millivolts 100 kilohertz go back here 100 kilohertz and 10 millivolts now run it as the input is very small so we need to make the scale as small as possible in order to see how good it is affecting right so now you can see the input is 10 millivolts 10 millivolts peak means it will be 20 millivolts peak to peak so let me stop it to explain you I can take the input a little above and I can take the output a little below so now you can see this is the input covering two boxes 2 multiplied by 10 that is 20 millivolts peak to peak that is our input signal and this is our output signal you can see it is about 2.5 boxes 2.5 multiplied by 500 it is about 1.5 Two five volts so you can uh, see it has a very good um, amplification with no distortion and nothing and now you can see if I overlap both of them you can see the input and output both of them are 180 degree phase shift when there is positive peak of the input there is negative peak of the output that means it is inverting the output now as you have different conditions so for example if you have to remove this 3.3k and then you need to check this now you can see with the same parameters your output is more amplified that means in presence of rl your gain will reduce so what i did i press ctrl z to have this back here and uh, let us uh, remove this and uh, And add one resistance and the value of this resistance is 2.2 kilo ohms 
okay and connect your input through this now run so you can see now the output is again the output is reduced okay so the gain is reduced that means right amplification is still there because you can see the output scale is at 500 millivolts while the input is at uh, 10 millivolts so amplification is there but instead of 1.25 volts now we have about 0.75 volts across uh, instead of 1.25 volts we have 750 millivolts which is still far uh, greater than 20 millivolts input but there is an effect of changing these parameters right so this is what you have to do follow step by step and uh, implement the circuit and observe the response at the output by changing uh, the configurations which means adding r6 removing r6 adding rl removing rl so on and so forth as mentioned in your uh, lab sheet so this is all what you have to do uh, practically uh, on the breadboard as well hopefully it uh, everything is clear that's all uh, that you have to do for this lab thank you